What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day. And in today's video, we have part one of what I believe is going to be a three-part Slipknot mask unboxing. So as always, we will be diving on into this package, taking out one mask at random, whichever one comes out, that's the one we're making the video on. And then over the course of the next few days, we will continue that package and pick out the rest of the masks. Now, the reason that I'm unsure that this is going to be a two or a three-part series is because I only ordered two masks, but it says three masks on the package. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what's inside. Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, I, uh, I had some trolls really get to me yesterday and they told me that people don't actually care about me at all and that my channel would be nothing without the masks. And while I do agree to a certain extent, it is a channel about masks. I like to think that you guys like me at least a little bit, but I guess not. PewDiePie's reverse face reveal was so funny and successful, I figured maybe it's time for me to do that, so I guess I'll take away the worst part of the channel for you. <sighs> That's better. I can't believe I let the trolls win. Anyways, let's see what we've got here. So what we have here is a box from James DC over on Facebook. I'm not really sure of his other social media presence. I honestly had never heard of him until I randomly saw him comment on a for sale thread on Facebook. So I'm going to reach out after I film this video and get his information. That way I can add that to the description just in case you guys want to check him out. I was pretty impressed by the photos that I saw him upload enough to obviously buy some pieces from him. And we're going to be taking a look at those today. So if you guys are interested, I want you to be able to reach out to the these artists and check them out for yourselves. So I guess what I'm getting at is I was never familiar with this artist before. Went out on a whim based on some photos that he posted and I finally got the package here from Argentina. So yeah, let's uh, check it out. All right, so what are we going to pull out first? I guess we'll just take this one right off of the top or the bottom, I guess, and uh, see, oh, there's actually two right here. So which one should we do? Obviously, you can probably tell from the shape of this that it is a Jay Weinberg mask, and I'm pretty excited to see it. Oh, he's super smushed. But nonetheless, we have a We Are Not Your Kind Jay Weinberg mask. This is kind of like the uh, promo or the typical style Jay Weinberg mask that you would see for the We Are Not Your Kind era. It's got a lot of the like white face paint smears all over it. Just the pretty basic version. Now, I did have one of these prior. It was a Walter version. Just didn't really stand up with the test of time with newer replicas coming out. And eventually, I'd really just like to have a full set of the Enrico Palma We Are Not Your Kind Jays. But I felt like this was a pretty cool little gap filler for now, and I wanted to branch out and see other artist stuff so that is what we did and I gotta say I am pretty impressed for the most part with this piece obviously it is not perfect but what replica really is and I think that it's going to look a lot better once we get it uh, kind of shaped out on a foam head as you can see this side's all smushed in the face is kind of sunken in. This thing was in transit for quite a long time, so it's been stuffed in that box forever. And I think that uh, getting it stuffed and reshaped is definitely going to do it a lot more justice than what you can tell just by it looking like this right here. So I am going to go stick this on a head. I'll probably set it next to a heater for a second and just kind of let it get bent back into shape, bent out of the shape that it's in right now. And uh, we will check back in when that is all said and done. A few moments later. All right, so I've had him sitting over top of this heater for quite a while with some different stuffing in there. I've added just little bits of paper and plastic bags to kind of uh, fill the mask out a little bit and get it shaped truer to what the actual mask looks like. And so far, it's looking pretty good. I think my only real complaint at this point is that the nose won't set in like this, but I think that I can get some tape and kind of tape the inside to each other and bring that a little bit more inward because as you can see, it does look quite a bit better when it sits like that, but it just folds right back out where it laid in there so flat for so long. But for right now, this is going to have to do because I would like to get this video done. And this is a process that does take quite a while. So as you can see, all of the details on the mask look pretty good. I really like the burlap work. Obviously the leather with the stitching and the elastic band around the back are nice. The paint job is nice. These mouthpieces don't look too far spaced out or anything like that. So I am quite happy with the product itself. Just not so happy with the fact that it sat in shipping for so long that it caused the masks to misshape so bad that I'm going to have to do a little bit of doctoring and that you guys can't see the true form right now. But I will say that I'll probably end up doing a Jay Weinberg mask collection update at some point in the future, and you can bet by then this thing will be in perfect shape. So yeah, for an artist that just kind of came out of nowhere, I'm definitely stoked with the work. That makes me very excited to see what's left in that box, and very excited to add these to my collection. So yeah, I don't have much else to say about the piece. I would say that this is definitely one of the best replicas that I've seen. So a huge shout to James, and like I said, I will be getting his information and putting it down in the description. That 
that way you guys can go check them out for yourself. Hopefully if you guys do buy from him, the US Postal Service will be a little nicer to your masks and won't just leave them sitting in customs for so long. Because honestly, that's pretty much my only complaint and that has nothing to do with James or the product itself. That has to do with the United States Postal Service. So yeah, I'll go ahead and leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this, let you take in all of the juicy, juicy detail and that will be that for today's video. Actually, you know what? The face reveal thing was obviously just a joke, and you trolls can suck my fucking dick. Like I'm not gonna make you guys look at this gorgeous hair every chance I get. Probably just mad because your girlfriends are checking me out. Or in most of your cases, your moms. Anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks to all the fanboys out there that are constantly disliking my stuff. Unaware that you're still boosting me into the algorithm. Not only am I getting paid from your views, because you have to view the video to dislike it, but you're also giving me engagement. Those views plus that engagement push me further into the algorithm them, and then I make even more money off of that. God, it sucks to suck. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and until next time, this has been AJ Good. AJ Good. This has been AJ Good at the House of Masks, telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol, and yes to my videos. We'll see you guys later.